in cystic fibrosis or CF, body parts like lungs, pancreas, and sweat glands are most noticeably affected. Complications in the lungs are the most severe medical problems because they are difficult to treat and can become life-threatening. The lungs have airways. In a normal human, airway is lined with thin layer of mucus. But in a CF patient, airway is lined with abnormally thick mucus and are vulnerable to chronic bacterial infections, especially by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. In 1989, investigators in the laboratories of Francis Collins at the University of Michigan and of Lap Chi Sui and John Riordan at the University of Toronto isolated the gene that is defective in CF patient. This gene encodes the CFTR protein. CFTR stands for cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator. Now, let us discuss about the structure of normal CFTR protein. Normal CFTR protein is found in the plasma membrane of the cell. The CFTR protein has two sets of transmembrane domains. These two sets of transmembrane domains anchor the CFTR protein in the plasma membrane. The CFTR protein also has two nucleotide binding domains. These two nucleotide binding domains act as binding sites for ATP. ATP provides the energy to drive transport of chloride ions across the plasma membrane. The CFTR protein also has a cytosolic regulatory domain. This regulatory domain has several serine hydroxyl groups. These serine hydroxyl groups can undergo reverse phosphorylation. This is the site of deletion mutation. The CFTR protein functions as a chloride channel in the cells. When phosphorylation sites in the regulatory domain are changed as a result of a mutation in the CFTR gene, then the channel function is affected. CFTR genes of CF patients have more than 600 mutations. The most common of these mutations causes the deletion of one amino acid in the first nucleotide binding domain. Now, let us discuss about how does normal CFTR protein function in the cell lining airways of the lungs of an unaffected person. Chloride ions present in the cell lining airways are secreted out of the cell by the normal CFTR protein present in the plasma membrane. This movement of chloride ion out of the cell and into the lumen provides the driving force for the concurrent movement of sodium ions into the lumen. Osmotic pressure causes water to follow the sodium ions and chloride ions. As a result, a dilute salt solution is secreted. The water that moves into the lumen in this way provides vital hydration to the mucus lining of the air passages. As a result, properly hydrated mucus moves forward by the beating activity of cilia. As a result, mucus clearance increases. As a result, airway lumen remains clear and air passes into the lungs easily. Now, let us discuss about how does CFTR protein mutation causes cystic fibrosis. Mutant CFTR protein is folded improperly. So, it is trapped in the endoplasmic reticulum. Therefore, mutant CFTR protein is recognized as a defective protein and degraded. As a result, mutant CFTR protein 
is absent in the plasma membrane. In the absence of CFTR protein, chloride ion secretion cannot take place. So, sodium ion and water do not move outward. As a result, mucus is insufficiently hydrated. This insufficient hydration favors decreased mucus clearance and growth of bacteria. As a result, cystic fibrosis occurs. Please like, subscribe and share.